recently sent a letter to Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius, Sebelius. Sebelius asking her to return um, to the House Committee on Energy and Congress to complete her testimony and answer questions. What has the response been to that letter? Uh, at this point, we have not uh, had a response, but I felt like the bill is, it, first of all, it's an incredibly expensive bill. Secondly, it is something that is vitally important in a very personal way to our constituents and because of the nature of this, we would like to get those responses. Right, and um, what do you intend to ask her if she, when and if she does return? Number one, how do you plan to pay for it? And number two, show me where this has actually been put into practice and saved money. Mr. Gaffney, the media has featured nuclear arms control as one of the most important issues facing our country today. Should this issue be at the top of the list and what else should we be focused on in terms of national security? There's a misconception when one talks about nuclear arms control that you're actually going to be able to control the problem that is currently and will probably increasingly be afflicting the world with respect to nuclear weapons. And that is not the arsenal that the Soviet Union once had and the arsenal that the United States still has and how they relate to one another, which is the principal focus, particularly of the Obama administration's nuclear arms control agenda. Rather, it's the fact that you have lots of countries that either now have nuclear weapons or are in the process of getting them, um, who are not going to pay any attention to arms control treaties, who are going to continue to have and probably build up their nuclear threat, and more than a decent chance of using these things or giving them to people who will. All of which means that the kind of nuclear arms control that we've thought about and practiced since the Cold War is really irrelevant and probably even a distraction from the problem that we're facing today, especially if Barack Obama persists in the agenda that he's espoused of ridding the world of nuclear weapons. The practical effect of that will be only, I'm afraid, to disarm us and none of the nations that we worry about. and that will leave the world a more dangerous place, not a safer one.